Hey, it's Melissa with The M Word. If you're new here, I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have an eight-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. This is my eight-year-old. Today, we are going over Timber Doodle's third grade science. We personally, this year, had gotten a kit where I had swapped out, since we got a customized kit, I got Building Blocks of Science because this is what we've been using and it was what I was comfortable with. So it is what I got. However, the new science inside of the curriculum kit is the Discover Science. So I do have that as well. And we haven't actually even touched this yet. So we are gonna do a lesson in this today because I know I've gone over Building Blocks of Science a bazillion times. This is what we're currently using for our homeschool, but I did wanna still see how this works and what it does. The Timber Doodle Handbook does say that you should do two lessons a week. It says Discover Science was created from the ground up for homeschooling families. Well, I believe Building Blocks of Science was set in a school-like setting. The other item that comes in our third grade kit, so these do come in the complete and elite kits, as does the Discover Science, or you can customize a kit and switch out the different science. But there's also Dr. Bonafide Presents. And I, this is the first Dr. Bonafide Presents book that we've gotten so far. I actually thought it was gonna be closer to like the Berenstein books where you just read it through it, but it's actually like a, like a workbook, like you, truly write and do different items inside the workbook itself. So we're gonna go ahead and turn you around a little bit so you can watch us get some schoolwork done. Each lesson takes approximately two to three days to complete for a total of around 150 days of instruction through the school year. Recommend completing three pages on the first day and two pages, including the show what you know on the second day. We go first into classifying animals. And then I have this book, Introduction to Science. It says basically the same stuff so far. I would assume you should read this before you start the week. So maybe each week on Sunday, go through and read two lessons worth so you know where you're at in the book. Chapter one, classifying animals. Hello there, it's Julia the grasshopper. Fun fact, Texas is big. It is also very, very hot. One day I woke up and I felt bad. Mom said I didn't look very good. She decided to take me to the doctor. Do you know what they call doctors for animals? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify the purpose of the scientific method, your vocabulary word. This is the word experiment. Yep. All right, go ahead and highlight it. What page is this? 10. Good. Explore. Have you ever asked a question that started with the word why? The scientific method. All scientists need a plan to help. The first three steps of the scientific method are one, make an observation. Practice. Match each step of the scientific method with the correct description. Oh, yeah, that's right. A is make a hypothesis. Review and organize the data from your experiment. Um, observation. observation, yeah. Show what you know. Write the collect words in the blank to complete the sentences. Scientists make blank by looking at something or someone closely to gain information. Do they make experiments, observations, conclusions? Observations. Observations, very good. Yeah. Right. Right. And this is lesson two. Dr. Bonafide, you ready? Bones of the hand, arm, and shoulder. So we've done a few of these. We learned about our skeleton. We learned about the bones, and now we're here. Doctors can view the bones in your body with a machine called an x-ray. Bonafide buddies. To start exploring, remove the x-ray glasses from the back of the book. Bones, but you can't see them. Feel your hand. How many bones do you feel? In this book, you're going to learn the names and locations of the upper extremities. Extremities means limbs and shoulders. You have 30 bones. 30 bones in each of your upper limbs. Go ahead. Whoa. Yeah, they can see. The 14, 14 bones of your fingers are called phalanges. Those are the science books that we got in our customized timber doodle third grade kit like i said i originally had gone ahead and replaced the discover science with the building blocks of science because we love that so much however after just doing the one lesson in discover science i actually really like how concise it is i've always loved building blocks of science i love how colorful it is i love how engaging it is but i have always admitted that it does have a lot of pages it has a lot of books it has a lot of extra stuff that can make it very overwhelming feeling. The Discover Science is not even remotely overwhelming. You just open it and go. And like I said, it does say in the Timber Doodle Handbook, 
fifth or grade that you should do two lessons a week in order to finish them all by the end of the school year. Dr. Bonafide, I think I did mention before, it does have 108 pages, so they do suggest that you do three pages a week in order to finish the book in a full school year, but they also say don't be surprised if your child speeds through it because it is engaging and fun. I have noticed that we have zero problems doing three pages in one day, if not more. I just kind of end where I think she's finally learned enough that she's not going to retain the information if we keep going. So it's not that she doesn't want to keep going, it's just that I think she's learned enough that she won't retain the information if we keep going. And I really do like the Dr. Bonafide stuff. If you have any questions for me or want to know anything else about the Timber Doodle Science Kit, this is the third grade kit, please go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. I will talk to you later.